Hello and welcome everybody and thank you guys for joining me again. My name is Wilkie and I'm here with the next Lost Ark video. Today we're going to talk about the fact or the idea that you're looking for people to do content with, specifically low-level content. Let's say you're a new player on the Russian, Korean or Japanese server and you're having a hard time finding people to play with. Now here's the idea. Typically when you're fresh in the game at some point in time you're going to unlock a guard and boards raid and basically what you're doing is you're either going to be clicking enter and doing it alone or you're going to click on the match button. In the lucky event that you actually have a Q pop that I did just now, that's typically all fine. However, there might be the occasions where you click on this and this timer is going to run and run and run and run for 5 minutes, 10 minutes, maybe even longer. As you can see here, I'm the only one searching for a group for Lumerous. Now there's a second person. So there's an easier solution to this for multitude of reasons. First of all, you don't even have to be at that board, but instead you're going to be using the so-called party finder, which is accessible via these two figures with a magnifying lens below your minimap. So by clicking on that, this is essentially all you need. And for the most part, probably what you're going to be using later on in the game to clear more difficult content, as well as to set up your parties and get people in and just, you know, look for people. So in the event of this garden raid here, now you can see that there is no announcement here. So in that case, what you're going to be doing is click on announcement. Let's just say we're looking for an urinal party and we're going to call this new players trial or something. It doesn't really matter. You can also just typically a lot of the times it's just plus or plus two DPS, DD, plus one support, something like that. So what you put in the title is pretty much up to you. And I'll show you like some examples here. Also, you can set up the minimum required item over here. And now what you have is a clear view of people applying to my party and actually being selected. So nobody can just enter my party here, but people will apply to this party. And then I get to look at their stats, at their engravings, at their items. And, you know, I can then more or less decide it's like, hmm, this dude looks like it would be useful for my party or nah, this dude has like trash gear or he seems to just want to free carry or something. And I don't want to take them. Now, I do highly want to encourage to not go down the Elitus route too much. I do understand, and I think everybody should understand, that the higher you go in Lost Ark, the more difficult content becomes. So having well-equipped characters is really important for later parts of the game. However, don't be too extreme when it comes to that. What I mean by that, for example, is I'm going to make a group for Argos. I'm going to call it Phase 3. And I'm going to leave the item level at... Yeah, let's just leave it at that. That's perfectly fine. So we're going to see and wait what people apply for. The way or the reason you should be using this over the matchmaker is because I can still do pretty much everything else inside. I can do life skills around. I can do some quest lines and some open world stuff. I can do whatever I want. I can browse the market. You're free to do everything. You don't need to visit a board. You can be on islands. You can sail around. Basically, you can still play almost every part of the game but you don't have to be at a specific point. So this player now applied. Now I have the option to either select him or decline him, or if I want more information, because maybe let's say the item level isn't convincing me, I can check his gear. So now we're gonna check what engravings he has. And I would say, yeah, that looks pretty decent. He has some gems, not the most powerful ones, but it's okay. Also what a lot of people are typically checking or looking out for is the legacy level. 217 is fairly high, it's almost higher than I have and I've been playing this game for almost a year. So I would definitely say this is probably a good pick. Let's take a look at this Battlemaster here. The legacy level is considerably lower than the other ones but engravings are a tad bit more polished. I'm not entirely sure why he has Malifaux but either way Thunder Fury is a very questionable engraving here. Sharp Blank Garage is fine. So as you can see, while he has a similar amount of engravings here, I'm probably not going to take this dude. Like he's way above the required item level, but his engravings are really subpar. So this is why some people filter or how you can actually go about filtering people. We're just going to accept him for the sake of having more people apply. And you can see how this is going. So in case you're not going to get parties with just clicking on the matching button on garden raid builds on anything else use the party finder there's also parties for cubes as you can see here's a cube party there's not in tier two there's three cube parties here you can go for test runs uh path runs as you can see parties here 
I don't know if anybody is looking for platinum field parks, probably not. Abyss Trials, same here. Void Dungeons listed, same here. So you can see this is very frequently used. And in case you're just not finding the party from your board, don't be discouraged. The main reason is probably because people aren't queuing. So again, if that doesn't work out, I would highly suggest use the party browser. Either make your own party if there is an existing one, or if there is an existing one, try joining and see what works out. Last but not least, you can also check what existing players are in the party. So let's say I wanted to do a Lumerous run and there is a party up. So I want to see what these guys are made of. This has this dude has fairly high item level compared to Lumerous. He has eh, okay, it's engraving strip and it's kind of questionable, but we're, we're talking about Lumerous, right? So people need to understand Lumerous can be done without any engravings. He's one of the easiest bosses in the entire game. So this makes perfect sense for fresh players to be in there. This is how we go about this, like I said, in case you don't want to join a guild, if there's a language barrier or anything else, then this is definitely the tool that you should be using, TLDR is. You can pretty much browse it from anywhere in the world, you can join from anywhere in the world. Only the party leader has to be in town to start the groups. So outside of this, this is a very convenient tool to find and select groups, select people to play with. Also kind of like filter people in case you're struggling to clear content and you want to have specific item level of players around you, then definitely use that. Anyways, this is all for this video. I do hope this was helpful. As usual, you can catch me live on Twitch every now and then, typically on Mondays and some other days. I will announce those on my Twitter and Discord channels as well. So feel free to check those out in the description below as well. And outside of this, I do hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys next time. Tell I'm telling I'm just staying fact You want me to take you back You want me to take you back